Couple of things before we get into the video. First thing, I forgot to mention in the video that you need an Xbox Live account to play this game. It's not a deal breaker for me, but it might be for you, so just bear that in mind. And second of all, the game tells you that it's best played with a controller, and I have no idea why. Because honestly, this game works fine with the mouse and keyboard, and every single game I seem to play these days it says play it with a controller, and I don't understand why. What's the hate? What's the hate with mouse and keyboard, huh? Huh? PC gamer, damn it. So I've been playing Bleeding Edge for the last day or so, and it's all right. It's okay. It's a bit of a weird game. It's kind of like a MOBA, except it doesn't have half of the aspects of a MOBA. So what is it? Bleeding Edge is a brawler, and you are going to be playing in teams of four. It's 4v4, and you get to pick between certain different roles. You have damage, you have tanks and you have healers, just like a lot of other styles of games. And in this one, it is all, it's a bit weird. Most people are melee, but there are some range characters too. And you're going to be either controlling objectives, you're going to be standing on control points and gaining points from those while you hold them, or you're going to be doing another mode, which I keep forgetting the name of, but it's basically a collect and deliver mode where you will find these canisters out in the world, you'll pick them up, and if you get killed, you drop them and the enemies can pick them up. And you have to deliver them to a certain control point. And the, there are little nuances to this. There are certain things that happen like some of the control points will move there are times when the one of the maps there will be an air raid and bombs will drop from the the sky and if you're standing there you're going to get destroyed by that there's also a map that has a train that's going around and you can and will get hit by that train and get murdered if you're not standing in the right place and so on and the combat itself is i can only describe it as moba combat it is fully 3d but it is moba combat nine times out of ten if you go 2v1 you're gonna die nine times out of ten if you roam around yourself without your team you are going to die it's as simple as that and most matches if you don't have a healer you're gonna lose and this brings me on to some of the main concerns i have about the game now this game immediately says it's a team game and it also says play with a controller which no 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 thank you mouse and keyboard works absolutely fine but it says off the bat immediately it's a team game and with any of these games and this goes for mobas this goes for overwatch it goes for all of these sort of games you're gonna have that person who doesn't want to play as they should you're gonna get that healer that wants to play as a dps you're gonna get that dps that wants to just run around and go solo and get kills because they think that they can in this game and it won't work and on those times that that happens that is more than likely going to cause your team to lose because it is 4v4 so one person not playing well has such a huge impact and in fact if you manage to kill the healer first which you always should do if you manage to kill one of the enemy team a 4v3 is such an easier time than a 4v4 and so what that means is there's just one person in your team who is not behaving as they should or is not playing the game as they should somebody in your team who's not playing with uh, tactics in mind or, or not playing as a team is going to have such an impact and that gets even worse with one of the problems that i found of this game so far is that there is doesn't seem to be any punishment for leaving now there is no ranking system in this game there is no real sort of reward for finishing games you get some currency but as we'll come on to in a minute it doesn't really mean anything um so there isn't really any sort of benefit of winning and there's real no detriment to losing so what that means is the people if the match doesn't seem to be going their way are just quitting now this has happened to me a few times already to make that problem even worse is that it's possible and has happened a couple of times to me for you to be loaded into a game that's already in progress now a couple of times i've been loaded into a game that is towards the end where my team are just being decimated and they're being decimated because they've been fighting the last half of a couple of minutes with 3v4 and as i said it's such a big deal in this game to go 3v4 that that means they're gonna lose so when i join in finally the, the game's already done and it's very very difficult to come back from that now in terms of gameplay the gameplay is very fun i will i will admit i've had quite a lot of fun so far with the team play i'm also having quite a lot of frustration with the things that i've mentioned already and with people not sort of understanding the game like in this game you have to kill the healers first it, it's very rare that you will be you should be targeting anybody else if there's a healer available they should be dying first 
that's just always that's just these games mobas mmos all of these games it's just very common knowledge but i feel like a lot of people are coming to this expecting some sort of shooter or something like that something like overwatch where i mean even overwatch you're supposed to kill the healers first but you can be a lot more flexible if you see a kill you can go for it i mean like if you're a sniper in overwatch you can kill basically anybody you fancy right like there's a lot more flexibility to that these games are very much more you all should be focusing on one target which is very difficult to do if you're not communicating on comms and the game does say you should communicate on comms but most people aren't doing they never do in these types of games unless you're playing with friends and i would like to add that i think playing with friends would make this much more enjoyable experience if i'm being honest but a lot of people aren't focusing on the same dps and that's just part of the problem of this game and what makes that worse is that because there is only one matchmaking system there's no ranked or casual there's just matchmaking that's it if you're playing solo it's going to be impossible to avoid this now even when that does happen that doesn't mean the matches aren't fun but they're still going to be frustrating now something else i want to talk about is the class balances every every class has its abilities and then it has an ultimate and every class has kind of a very specific role as i said you have tanks healers and dps and your healers are the ones that are going to be healing people it's kind of obvious right your tanks are going to be the ones that are supposed to be absorbing the damage being big targets and uh, basically harassing and then you've got your dps that should be uh, dealing the most of the damage and some of them are designated as finishers and should be going going in for the kill now certain classes and certain matchups are very interesting and the game does let you change your, your your character anytime there is no roll lock there isn't anything like that there's no bans you can have anything you, you can change to any character you can only have one of each character though so just bear that in mind but you can change it anytime and i feel like this is what happened with overwatch when overwatch first launched i think the game's expecting you to and when i say that there are a few characters that are just hard counters now as an example i've been playing mainly as the healer class i think she's called miko but when i haven't been playing her i've been trying to play tanks and i've been playing as the guy who i'm not going to say his name just youtube and he cannot move very well he has a leap that is very inaccurate apart from that by the way every character has dodges dodges are limited to stamina you can only dodge so many times they're supposed to be forgetting out of combat more than they are forgetting into combat and this is one of my main problems with a couple of the slower classes there are a number of ranged classes and there are some classes that are very agile and very movable one character for example i forget her name she's a lady with mechanical ostrich legs and she's very fast she has a very low health pool but she's very fast she can throw out daggers and there's been there are a couple of characters that i have played that cannot catch her and it's it's an interesting thing i'm not saying this is necessarily a bad thing i'm just pointing it out but there have been a number of times where i've been playing as one of the tanks and i've noticed i cannot catch her so if she's in the match i might as well either ignore her completely or change and it can be a little bit frustrating when you see that matchup and you go, oh great, I, I physically can't fight this one because most characters in this are melee. It is not a shooter, it's a brawler. So most characters in this are melee focused. Again, there are some ranged ones, but most of them are melee. And it's very difficult for a melee character, some of the melee characters, to keep up with the ranged. But that's just something, you know, that's balancing. That's Maybe that's just tactics. Maybe it's uh, as you learn the game more, you might switch. But it's just something that's worth noting. Now, my biggest problem with this game, and I have a couple, but my biggest problem with this game is just that there's, there's just nothing else with it you've got your your two game modes and you've got this this fairly you know fairly decent selection of characters to start off with but apart from that there is nothing else now there is no real progression the only progression in the game is through mods mods are very minor changes to your abilities they may give you a flat increase of damage or they may change your ability for example with the healer that i play quite a lot her heal can bounce between a couple of friendly targets and one of the mods increases the bounce by one one of the mods makes it though if it does bounce the cooldown is a little bit reduced things like that there's also the guy who can spin around and and hit people like that and there's a, a mod that'll make him move faster while he does that so some of these are very useful and you unlock the currency to unlock these and over time and it's fine but apart from that there's really no any progression and there's no anything else a lot of games 
similar to this or a lot of games in genres similar to this have skins or unlocks or something something to get you excited about playing and this game just doesn't have anything exciting at all it has skins for the characters every character has two extra skins but they're just reskins they're just recolors that's it there's no any you know there's there's no variety every character is going to look the same maybe just a different color and then after that you have your hoverboard now hoverboards are really weird they they seem so cool until you use them like having a hoverboard seems great but really it's just a very small movement increase that's all it, it's not you're not very fast on them it's a very small movement increase they feel so unnecessary like they they just i just don't like i feel like they've been put in there to be flashy more than anything else and they do have some nice skins they have a couple of nice skins and they have a couple of uh trails that are, are really nice in fact one of the trails i think is actually really really great it looks fantastic but apart from that, there's nothing else. There's nothing else to get excited about in this game. And I'm glad that there's no microtransactions. I'm very glad about that. This game is a not a full price game. I paid $24.99 UK monies for it. Um, so probably about $30. But it's just... I, 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 I never thought I'd say this, but I almost wish they were selling skins because without anything else, the game just seems like it's going to get very repetitive very quickly. And if I was playing with friends, maybe not. If I was playing competitively, maybe not. But most people are going to play this very casually. And I feel like casual players are going to get bored very quickly. And we've all we've seen this too many times before with these kind of games, these online only multiplayer only games. They live or they die on their player base. And I don't want to see this happen because this game is very well developed. I've seen very few bugs. The only bug I have seen so far is an audio bug where the music will stop playing while I'm talking about the music. Like the music is weird. Like it's good. It's really good. And it's especially very good at parts. Like when the when the match ends, the music there's fantastic. But the music during the matches is just so blase. Like it's just so sort of... I really don't want to word use I don't I really don't want to use the word chill, but it's just so chilled out most of the time that it just I feel like that only adds to with the slowness of the hoverboards, with the chillness of the music, and with only being 4v4, like quite often it just feels very low tempo and that's I, I i don't know because the game can get quite high tempo when you're in those really tense team fights where both teams are playing really well and it, it it's down to who makes the mistake first that's really cool and then you offset that with this really low tempo music and a really slow gameplay <laughs> it's just like okay um but yeah, it, it, it's, it's, I just wish there was more to it. I wish there was more that I could unlock. I wish there was skins that varied up the characters because the characters look great. Don't get me wrong. They're all designed really well. I think they all look cool. They look unique. They, they do, in my honest opinion, they do draw heavily from Borderlands and Overwatch with their character designs, but that's fine. Their characters look cool, but I just wish that we could customize them and make them our own. And we really, really can't, especially as I'm starting to find out which characters I like the most. I'm just sort of stuck with them or stuck with a couple of recolors so yeah i think the game is good overall i just don't really feel like there's enough here not not when you're asking uh, for people to pay up front now i say this because there are other games out there that are free to play that have more to them and i say that a lot of these games have microtransactions and again this game doesn't and i respect that and i'm very very grateful for that but i really wish there was more to unlock i wish there was more skins i wish there was more to do outside the matches we can have more game modes they could get added on later i hope they do add to this game i really hope that this game does get developed further we can add new game modes we can add new heroes that's fine but in the meantime i feel like this game needs to be fleshed out it's a very solid foundation of a game but that's all it is it's only a foundation but again it's fun maybe check it out have a look at it if you really like like the idea of this kind of gameplay it's worth giving a go i wouldn't rush out to buy it honestly yeah maybe go give it a go thanks for watching and i'll see you next time